Hey, gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology. And this week, woo, the vibes are high. We've got a full moon in lovely Leo, making us feeling creative and inspired and bright and passionate about life. We've also got Venus, the planet of love, and Pluto, the lord of transformation, coming together. It's a passionate time and a lovely Sun and Jupiter conjunction, making us feel hope and have possibility soaring in our heart. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Virgo, this week is a interesting cosmic cocktail for you. There's all sorts of different energies that you could work with to help with a shift forward for you. Now firstly, one of the main themes of this week is all about you doing a bit of everyday practical magic, as my astrologer friend Helen likes to call this energy. It's about you using that superpower you've got to take care of the tiny details to transform your life. On top of that, you might come across some kind of new work that you feel passionate about, but there's definitely a massive shift in that area. Now, I'll tell you why. It starts off with the sun, which is in that vibe for you, squaring Uranus, the planet of surprises. Now, what's interesting is there might be a kind of practical job, a, a, a job that captures your heart, but it's quite adventurous, more adventurous than you think. You might be starting a project and thinking, oh, this is boring old crap, and then be like, wow, actually, it's stimulating me and I'm growing doing this. Now, the full moon is in your most psychic house. And that's what makes it an interesting week. So on the one hand, you have to be practical, work with the finer details, look after your health and well-being, and be super on it when it comes to clearing things out and, and dealing with the practicalities. But on the other hand, the full moon is in one of the most magical places. And that's because it's in your position of psychic skills. It's in your position of your intuition. It's in the, in the position of your higher power. And it gives you access, because don't forget the moon makes us super psychic anyway, to your real, not only your creative fantasies, but also your kind of gut hunches and intuition. Now, the only thing to watch out for here, there may be a secret that revealed. You may be given some information that you didn't know. There may be, you may feel that someone has been deceiving you and you go, right, boom, I got it. That person is a wrong one. But then you can take action. And also, this full moon is opposing Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, in your practical zone. So it's practical magic is the key. You are taking and grounding your intuition and, and your magical side with your practical side. Or in your case, you're used to being practical, but you are tipping a shed load of magic onto your practical side. And then, whoo, something incredible could happen this week. On top of that, we've got Venus, the planet of love, joining forces with Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, on the same day as that full moon. And it's in your creativity, joy, happiness, love zone. If you're in a relationship, it really could be make or break for that relationship. But your passion is showing you the way forward when it comes to your intimate relationships. Also, it's a, a phenomenal shift in energy when it comes to your creativity and your joy and your happiness. And there is some powerful emotions going on with this full moon. So use your intuition, be grounded and follow your bliss. The sun is joining forces with Jupiter, as I said, in which gives you confidence to change things and shake things up when it comes to work. And also, again, good fortune around work. There's a very high vibe this week. OK, Mercury, your ruler, goes retrograde. Um, so it may be that some detail you didn't take care of in the past comes back and you have to deal with it. Um, you, you know the rules with Mercury retrograde. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you email. Make sure you get uh, you turn up for meetings on time, Zoom or otherwise. But this week has oh, lots of fabulous cosmic energy for you to combine all of your practical skills with a dash of magic. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. 
I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.